In this video, I want to cover some prophetic visions, dreams, nightmares that Jacinta had in Garabandal, both before the apparitions, during the apparitions and after the apparitions. In particular today, a nightmare vision she experienced in 1961 even before the children had seen the angel. Jacinta would have been 11 years old at this point. Okay, so here is what the vision included. Jacinta finds herself in a church, presumably the parish church of St. Sebastian. And she's there in the pew, kneeling down, and she's watching the congregation lining up and going to receive Holy Communion. And she notices that the people are receiving our Lord into their hands. She goes up as normal. And when she reaches the front of the queue, the priest there tries to present her with the blessed sacrament into her hands. She refuses. She will not do it. And at this point, she wakes up. In the interview, she describes that she was filled with fear, fear at the idea of people receiving Holy Communion in their hands. Some, something so sacred, our Lord himself being placed into people's hands. And she woke up and she told this nightmare to her mother and her mother said, this will never happen. This will never happen to Jacinta. And she told others in the village and they agreed this will never happen. The possibility to them of this abuse coming into existence was was completely beyond the realm of their imagination. And yet, tragically, it has become the norm in so many places. In a very recent interview, just a few years ago, Jacinta revealed to a group that she's never received communion in her hands and she never will do. OK, I want to keep my part short because we're going to show the interview now or the extract of the interview in which she makes this revelation. Her husband is there by her side, giving a bit of a translation. In some places, it's clear that he wants to try and distance himself from the idea that his wife is opposing current practice in church teaching. So he's going to be saying things like, of course, at the time, the church had not allowed this. The church had not allowed this at the time, as if somehow things become OK when a person in the Vatican writes a little, a little thing in canon law saying it's permissible to receive communion in the hand, as if all of a sudden the prophetic dream of Hasinta becomes um, less powerful, less potent, and we should all go, oh, it was fine. It's fine then, you know. So he's trying to diffuse that a bit. But at the end, it's quite clear that like Jacinta, he's also quite aware that communion in the hand is an abuse. Jacinta has mentioned once before that she mm -hmm. had a dream mm -hmm. uh, where she saw people taking communion in the hand. Yes. Was this uh, was this dream? Uh, was it was it something that she thought was bad? Was it did mm -hmm. she have the understanding that this was a good thing, a, mm -hmm. uh, a bad thing, or mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. something that was going to happen mm -hmm. within the church? Mm -hmm. Uh, quando tu dici questo sogno uh, che pensassi della comunione nella mano che va a passare su cosa buona cosa mala cosa che... mala io pensé uh -huh. come che non si dava rispetto alla sacra comunione uh -huh. cosa mala she felt when she had this dream she felt it was uh, some it seemed kind of bad to her at the time because it seemed like you weren't giving as much respect to the holy holy communion mm -hmm. and she had mentioned before it was at the beginning of the apparition no yeah sé, it kind of scared miedo. her she said she had this dream at the beginning of the apparitions in 19, mm -hmm. summer of 1961, mm -hmm. you know, before any of this was discussed. And it was like a prophetic dream, a prophecy, because she saw people there receiving communion in the hand as if it were approved of already by the church, you know, and people doing it. And, uh, but she didn't like it because to her it was less respect for the mm -hmm. Blessed Sacrament. So mm -hmm. to her it seemed like something that wasn't good. Mm -hmm. but and, she, and you... When you went up to communion, when you went up to communion in this dream, you uh, 
They wanted to give you communion mm -hmm. in their hand. You know, so I know two faces of you part of the are communicating in dark communion. Sí, no la yeah, in a dream, she <laughs> dreamed that they wanted to give her communion in the hand, but she didn't want it in the hand. Yeah. That was good, so pues no la cogí. she didn't take it. In, in ese hand. momento desperté. And then she woke up at that moment, but she refused to take it in the hand, uh -huh. and she woke up at the moment. Sí. But the interesting thing is, the dream happened in the summer of 1961 at a time when there was no uh, discussion yet about having communion in the hand, and she never heard of it. Mm -hmm. And she told her mother the dream and told uh, several other people it, and they said, oh, this seems a very bad dream, a, a great scandal. How could they say that the church would approve of communion in the hand, giving it out to everyone in the hand, mm -hmm. and, and the less respect? But it came true. Mm -hmm. Like many other things she has dreamed, uh, it's come true mm -hmm. afterward. Okay, so that's the interview. You'll have noticed that I included some details that were, that were not in the interview, and that's because Jacinta spoke about this story on other occasions. And on other occasions, she added a few extra bits of detail that are not in this video clip. It's clear that Garabandal, the apparitions of Our Lady at Garabandal, have a lot to tell us about reception of the Blessed Sacrament and reverence towards the Blessed Sacrament. The second message says less and less importance is given to the Blessed Sacrament, is being given to the Blessed Sacrament. Our Lady at Garabandal is giving us a set of apparitions specifically directed to correcting liturgical abuses surrounding the Blessed Sacrament and prophetically foreshadowing communion in the hand as something that is a, an irreverence. I'm going to have to do another video on this to discuss it in greater detail. But today let's ponder upon this prophetic vision of Hasinta and give thanks to Almighty God for it. May Almighty God bless you and Our Lady intercede for you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.